All right, today is the 31st of January, 2009. Kissimmee, Florida, Warbird Adventures here with Tim. How are you today? Hey, All right, I'm Chuck. I'm in the back of the T6 Texan, World War II Advanced Trainer, and we're warmed up. It's a pretty chilly morning. It's about 30 degrees, and we're going to start to head out. So have your feet up on the rudder pedals, heels on the floor. Okay. And right hand on the stick. We'll pull it all the way back. We'll add some power. We'll start moving ahead. We'll see if it'll go at about 900 RPMs again. Yeah. I smiled. On We're listening to ground control. Someone's getting their uh, clearance, so it's going to take a minute to get through. And squawk three two four six. Six really gone. You notice I can't see over the nose? Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> I can't see either. We're gonna have to do some S turns. So we'll push left okay. and start looking right, real real light and slow with your feet. Slowly push to the right. We'll so we'll start looking left and we'll expect to five thousand. And we're gonna take our time here since they're jabbering on the radio. Uh, I'll take the ATIS. Would you have that frequency for me, please? So just as you're crossing over that center line, you start working your way back to the right. Yeah, there's a delay, so before it goes too far, you have to come in off that pressure to the side. Kissimmee so Ground, Texan 4 is out of Warbirds, 15 to the south, numbers taxi. Texan 4, Kissimmee Ground, good morning, runway 33 via Charlie and Delta, hold short of runway 33 on Charlie. All right, and 3 3 on uh, Charlie and Delta, hold short. Uh, 3 3 on, uh, what did you say, Bravo? Tex 4. Tex 4, hold short of runway 3 3 on Charlie. On Charlie for Tex 4. All right. Yeah, so keep the stick back, that holds the tail down. Right. And it also locks the tail well. And in this particular scenario, with this airplane, even though it's locked, it'll still steer back and forth a little bit, but it won't completely free caster. short here. Let's angle to the left a little bit, so one more S turn and just a little bit of brake. Very, very lightly, just yeah, a little bit less than that. And relax. Excellent. Nice. Very slow stop. Okay. If you look to the right, you'll see a helicopter coming in. Roger. On, the ground. And there's an airplane behind it. Angles at Alpha 3, request taxi to CAS. Skyline 424 Sierra Tango, Kissimmee Ground, Texas, CAS Aviation, via Taxiway Alpha. Via yeah, Alpha, for Sierra Tango, thank you. Well, what kind of airplanes do you fly? Uh, just 172s. Okay. Out of Virginia? Out, out of uh, Langley Air Force Base, the uh, aero club there. Okay, cool. And how long have you been doing that? Um, let's see, this will be a fifth year now. Okay, excellent. How many hours do you have? I uh, just got about 145. I uh, spent 15 months over in the desert. Just came back in uh, December. Okay. Um, getting ready to finish my uh, instrument written and uh, going to do like an immersion. Uh, instrument 10 day. Wow. That knocked out. Okay. Where are you doing that at? Uh, we're going to do it at Langley. Okay. All right. Ended up being a lot cheaper than uh, going somewhere. All right. Cool. Good. Yeah, instrument's really the hardest one to do. And the CFI is also very hard, but. Um... The goal was to get to 250, uh, yeah. get the CFI, and start doing that while I'm still in. Yeah. Build Good. hours. Yep. Yeah, you gotta have, uh, what, 250 for commercial? Roger. Commercial's easy, though. Watching that helicopter, I saw a big puff of white smoke come out of it as it, before it got to where we are. I 
I guess that guy's doing touch and go, so he's off. Our oil pressure's real good, oil temperature's good. So, probably... Texan 4, cross runway 33 at Charlie. Cross runway 33 Charlie, Texan 4. Alright, look to the right, let's start going that way. Okay. And you see the taxiway doesn't go Ground straight across. Roger, it jogs well, to the right, so you can expect that. And there's an airplane coming, so we're going to hurry it up here. Okay. That way they won't have to tell us to expedite. Alright, push to the left a little bit. Okay. Look at the windsock to the left. Yeah, As we take off, it'll be a little bit of a right crosswind. Alright, as we go to the right on Alpha here, let's cut the corner so don't follow the yellow lines. It's too tight of a turn. Okay. This is much easier. Good. And we'll go about a mile all the way to the other end of the runway here. So. Texan 4, uh, PA 32, uh, correction PA 23, coming out of uh, Kissimmee Aviation on Echo Taxway. Give way to that traffic, please. All right, we'll give way to the traffic on Echo from Texan 4. Good. So just real smooth, real slow with your feet, just like you're doing. That's nice. Opposite foot, just a little sooner. Okay. That'll keep us from making our turns a little too steep and getting so close to the edge. Good, there's that twin ahead of us, so he's no factor. A lot of people want to dance with their feet and push them too hard and too quickly. This is nice, what you're doing here. That's a little sooner than right what you're doing to the opposite way. We lost a little energy there with the, the hump from the cross runway. Different, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you were in a Mustang or a Corsair, it'd be the same. Can't see over the nose. So we're starting to accelerate just a little bit, so we'll okay. pull the power back slightly. Got a lot of speed here. This is fine. I like to taxi this fast. Roger, Bravo Alpha, standing by uh, Alpha 1. Charlie Oscar, Bravo Alpha, Roger, hold short, contact town when ready for departure. Oscar, Bravo Alpha, will take position and no hold short. Huh? Yeah, this, uh... Charlie uh, Oscar, Bravo Alpha, hold short of runway 33. Hold your position there and contact tower 124.45. This guy needs to be on tower frequency. He pulled off on Alpha 1. He should have gone all the way to the end where we're going. You'll see that right. once we get up here. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, he's, he's up there out of the way. All right, so as we get closer to our run-up area, we'll start to ease back on the power. We'll just kind of coast in. And I told you, holding the stick back locks the tailwheel. Right. It's a little steerable. Pushing it forward unlocks the tailwheel. So I'm on the controls with you now. Okay. Stay on the controls with me, and we'll demonstrate unlocking the tailwheel when we get across our run-up area. Just a little bit of break. We don't want to lose all of our momentum. Okay. A little bit. All right. What we'll do then is push the stick forward, a little right foot. That'll send it to the right. We'll pull the wow. stick back, and it'll just free cast her, and we'll spin, and now we're into the wind. Sweet. Yeah, you can close your canopy up to the first notch, and that'll help with wind noise. Okay. Good. I'm on the brake. Stick is back. Pressures and temperatures good, up to 1,200 RPMs. And what we'll do is check the hydraulics. So power push button. Down in front of the trim wheel is hydraulic gauge, and you'll see it slowly start to come up. 200, 400, 600. 
about 800 PSI there. That's a single gauge all by itself in front of the trim wheel. All right, up to 1,600 RPMs. We'll take the propeller lever, pull it all the way back. We're looking for a 200 RPM drop. We'll push it forward. It should go back to 1,600. We're changing the pitch of the blades, and when it takes a bigger bite out of the air, it puts a load on the engine, decreasing RPM. And what we want to do is take the hot engine oil in the engine and put it up into the propeller hub, so we do it three times. We also get a rise in manifold pressure and a decrease in oil pressure when we do this. All right, we're going to go up to 2,000 RPMs to check the magnetos. All right, to the right mag. RPM drop, back to both, to the left mag. RPM drop and back to both. And that's a good power check. All right, over to tower frequency we go. Our company frequency is in standby. Trim set for takeoff. Left tank selected in the detent mixture rich prop for both. Let's check the controls. So if we move the stick to the right, look down the right wing, that aileron comes up, stick to the left. Left aileron comes up, I'm looking back at the tail, and we'll pull back and check the elevator and the rudder so the controls are free and correct. Check the baggage door, it is closed. Start to move forward, we're going to unlock the tail well again, and just pull right up to that whole short line. Sumi Tower, Texan 4, holding short 3-3, ready to go. Texan 4, Sumi Tower, runway 3-3, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 3-3, Texan 4. All right, so everything's looking good, pressures, temperatures. Um, as we add power, we're going to hold right stick. We have right Zero crosswind, Alpha, and we have have 600 horsepower worth of torque. So right stick, as much as we need. We're going to start off with more and probably decrease it as we accelerate. I want you looking straight ahead. And not off to the side, so look straight ahead. Here we go. Six early with Travis and T6. Power's coming up. Cleared for touch and go. For touch and go, T6 up slide. Six early. Wow. 36 inches. We're not going to need much runway. We'll fly the tail. Tail's in the air. And we'll rotate a little bit. And we're off. We're going to raise the gear. And we'll slowly reduce power. Back to 30 inches, back to 2,000 RPMs. Lots of lift today. Nice and cold. Yeah. We're at 105. We'll slowly make our turn to the left. Feet already. Nice view of the airport. And you see the big lake in front of us to the left. That's where we're going. Roughly we're up to a thousand feet, so now it's twenty eight inches and nineteen hundred RPMs. All right, we're going to lower the nose and hold it right about there. Maybe that's right on the horizon where the top of the engine cowling is for you. All right. Hold it right there. Let the airplane accelerate just a little bit. And we'll climb at about 130 or so. Uh, you got it. All right. 130. Yeah, and don't try to correct for the bumps too much. Roger. It's more important just to hold lightly on the stick and let the airplane bounce around a little bit. There's a, a two-lane road to the right. Let's go that direction. So All a little right. bit of a right turn. Wow, I guess the gusty winds are making for some bumps up here.
first takeoff. That was uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> With a 42-foot wingspan, the airplane comes off the ground pretty quick. They only need about 800, 900 feet of runway, especially when the winds are pretty strong. Airspace. There's not many people on the radio today, so I think people are scared of the, the winds. We're moving along pretty good. Our ground speed's pretty high, 170 miles an hour, so about 30 mile an hour tailwind up here. All right, you're up to 2,000. Right. I guess it's down. Let's still pump to 2,500, so just pull, 2500? Back. Yeah, okay. pull back on the stick and climb pretty good. Zero Lima, runway 33, clear touching up. Clear touching. Good, a little bit more, pull back more. Good. I want you to see what happens when you take all your speed and convert it into climb. A fleet air speed. Yep. There. 2,500. Yeah. Back to 25 inches. I'll pull the power back to about 1850 or so. Nice. All right. You know where that trim wheel is. You can adjust the trim wheel. Remember, it's real sensitive. All right. Get a PSI on this thing. Oh, there it is. Right. Yeah, all right. You're fine right there. About 145 will be level flight. We'll go ahead and move that trim wheel just to see. All right. That's it. Yeah. Good, and that's probably a good spot for it right about there. All right, let's do some turns. Uh, first, look over to the left and look at the small lake in front of us, the round one. No, in front of us. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's our practice area, so let's head that way. You can turn past it, actually. Good. Steeper and faster, please. Hold it steady. There you go. Keep the nose up on the horizon with back pressure. Not above it, really, but just right on it. Steeper than this, please. That's it. Real smooth, real slow on the control. Steeper. <laughs> and steeper. Steeper you go, the more back pressure right. you'll pull. Steeper than this. Keep going. There you go. Now, hold the nose up a little more. Yeah, of course. Yeah, there Two you G's. go. Now, look down that left wing. Pull a little harder. There, keep going. <laughs> what do you think? Steep turns. <laughs> All right. Roll out, relax your back pressure, and go to the right. Just keep it going to the right. Hold it steady there. That's it. All right. Now, look to the left for the camera. Wait till the sun comes around. Just keep going. Put you in the sun there. That's it. And one more. Good, all right. Look ahead, you got the nose up on the horizon, that's perfect. Keep us coming around and head for the big lake back behind us to the right there. You're holding uh, 130, so you've lost 15 miles an hour in the steep turn just to hold us level, so that's that's what happens in this airplane. Roll out right there. You see all the uh, heavy equipment down there to the right? Below us, it's an auction for uh, oh, yeah. bulldozers and things. All right, so you like the airplane. Absolutely. Let's go a little more to the right. I want you to line up with the straight part of the road up ahead to the okay. right. Good. Much smoother. Right about there. That'll do. All right. Lower the nose just a little bit. All right. Let's try a lazy eight. Have you ever done one of those? No. Okay. Knees back on the stick and climb. Keep your back pressure from now on and slowly go to the left, just a little bit. That's all you need right there. Keep it going. Now, as you lose speed and energy, watch the nose fall, but keep what you got. Don't change anything here. All right. Watch how the nose falls. The airplane's <laughs> trying to go faster. As we speed up, they'll pull back and level the wings. Real smooth, real slow. Slow. Level the wings. Slow. Yeah. Now, when you're moving the controls, try not to jab it like that. Try to be as smooth as possible. Okay. All right, raise the nose and climb. Keep pulling. Now, slowly to the right. More and more right foot, the slower we go. More and more right foot. Push harder right, right foot. foot. Yep. Okay. Harder right foot to center the ball. This is nice. Good. Slowly pull back and to the left. Okay. Level the wings, raise the nose. Level the wings. <laughs> Now we're going back the same way we started. Good. How's that? That was awesome. All right. Try it again. I want you to pull the nose up a little higher this time. Okay. Good. Keep going. Slowly to the left. 
To the left. That's it. Nice. Right. Much right. better. Much right. better. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Oh. That's nice. Beautiful. Back and to the right. Real slow. Right foot, right foot. There. Pitch up and level off. Good. Pull the nose up. We're going to do another one to the right. Pull back. Slowly to the right. More and more right foot the slower we go. It's P factor. Okay. Look left for the camera. That's all right. Good. Back and to the left. That's nice. Great. Nice. What do you think of the airplane? It is incredible. <laughs> A lot of power. Yeah. Well, we're taking our energy and we're doing something with it. So it's the same thing. If you pull back on the stick and climb and let go, you're going to climb until the airplane bleeds off its airspeed and then it's the nose is going to drop. We're just doing the same thing in the turn. All right. You feel okay? I feel great. Let's turn uh, steeply to the right. Right. Nice clear. Yep. Lovely. Perfectly smooth. So you're less aggressive now on the controls, and the flying smoother. Good. Keep pulling a little harder just to keep that nose up. That's what it takes. Lovely. Great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, roll out right there. You having a good time? Uh, I'm having a wonderful time. All right, it's our time to go back to the All airport. Right. Let's do one more maneuver if you're up for it. I'm up for it. All right, look straight ahead. Looking straight ahead. We're going to do an aileron roll. We're diving for 160. Once want you looking ahead the whole time. Here we go. Here's the pitch up. Nose up high. Relax the back pressure and hard to the left. <laughs> nice. All right, take us down to 1,500. Okay. Just push the nose down. We don't reduce power in this airplane in order okay. to descend. Ah. It's great to fly, isn't it? It is. <laughs> we'll go all the way back to the airport at 1,500. All right. Up 1600. Yeah, there you go. You can level off here and you can lead it just a little bit. There you go. And whenever the airplane slows down to about 140, 145, then you can set the trim wherever you're happy with it. Simi Tower, checks on 4 and 7 south inbound man. Export Simi Tower, continue inbound for the initial runway 33 and keep your speed up. There's an Aztec or a Seminole following you off your right side. Actually, it's a Beach Duchess about two miles behind you. I think we have them in sight. We'll keep our speed up uh, for the initial for 3-3. Three, three, yeah, he's back over the lake. Actually, from where he is, if you look at the runway ahead, he's yeah. on a straight end. But keep the nose up. Keep us at 1,500. All right. Thanks for coming down, joining some uh, fun with us this morning, and appreciate the change of Once you get a feel for this airplane, it's so nice to fly. Nice to fly. Very pleasant and comfortable. Hold the nose up just yep. a slightly higher. Now, if you put it right about there, that's about level flight. Okay. I'm just guessing, by the way. <laughs> just used to where the airplane sits for level. Sometimes it seems like you're diving anyway when you're level, but when you're climbing... Before you start slowing now, you'll end up following this traffic now. He's about a mile and a half, two miles behind you. So you can slow down, descend to a thousand, and break it for Trent. That last time, Mr. for uh, Dutchess 2A Yankee. No, number 2A Yankee, cleared to land. All right, we're cleared to land, 336 2A Yankee. Texan 4, Tower, did you copy any of that? Uh, you think you want me to break a departure in, is that correct? Six and four, Roger, and you can start slowing down. Your discretion, descend to a thousand, approve. You'd be following this Aztec that's behind you. And clear to land number two. Clear to land, number two, departure and left break for Texan four. All right. It's not like we're going real fast anyway. He said we could go down to a thousand. Okay. So you can lower the nose. I want you to fly over the runway at a thousand feet. All right. We'll go all the way to the end at a 
thousand and then turn left. So it, it won't be quite the overhead approach like the military does. It'll be a modified downwind pattern. Yeah, there you go. So just hold it here. Now you can set a little bit of nose up trim in because I've reduced power just slightly. Pretty big gust today. Come back up. I'm on the controls with you. Stay on the controls with me all the way through landing, okay? Okay. Yeah, just stay with me. Now, we're cleared to land number two behind that Aztec that was pretty far behind us, so we'll go all the way up to 192 here. That's what we're coming up on now. Got the power back so we don't go too fast on the downwind. That's for the winds from behind us. I'm looking for that guy. I see someone driving down the runway. Or he's right at the approach uh, end. Uh, okay. He's about two miles out, yeah. Yeah, that guy's over the lake. Well, sometimes they do fog checks down the runway just to make sure it's clear. All right. Guys coming up on John Young. He's just over the what appears to be the shoreline. Yeah, I forgot. Take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just coming up on the railroad tracks. Ah, I forgot to look. You can try that again. <laughs> That's it. All right, look down by your left leg. I'm gonna lower the gear. All right. Gear handle's down. You might even feel it come down. Good, the gear's down and locked. We're just gonna stay up here at 1,000. That guy's just about to touch down. As we turn into the wind, our ground speed will slow. We'll make it tighter here. Number two, Yankee turn right next to X-Way, kind of ground one, two, one, hey, you seven. Can stay with me on the control. Right, okay. Exactly, ground on 217, 62 Yankee. Protection 4, long landing approved for an exit on Shirley. Long landing, protection 4, thanks. All right, so we can land long. That means that we want to touch down about where the, the cross three, runway three, seven, is. Five. That guy's still on the runway. Yeah, uh, we're still in 600 miles. feet. We're, we're in the wide arc, so we can lower the flaps. So here comes the flaps. Wow. Yeah, we'll lower the nose. Look at our speed, 115. And we're at 12 inches of manifold pressure. So gear down and locked. Flaps down. We're just holding 110. Looks like a little bit of left crosswind from the windsock. There's 100. 100 is a good approach speed. Those flaps work well. Oh yeah, they sure do. There's 90. 80. We'll power off here. Sometimes you catch the crown of the uh, cross runway there. Good, not bad. Texan 4, left on Charlie TWA. Uh, left on Charlie TWA, Texan 4, thanks. November the east, he's ready to take the and I, I'm surprised how steep you could come down and keep that airspeed. Actually, we normally come in steeper than that. Wow. Um, we usually do overhead approaches, the circle to land. Yeah, we're much closer, much steeper. And uh, yeah, the flaps are 45 degrees, and they go from aileron to aileron, so they're pretty pronounced. And uh, 
Oh, they're okay. They're under the. Uh, yeah, what kind of flap is that? It's a split flap. Split it's, flap. Okay. Yeah, it's the uh, most amount of drag. So when you put the flaps down, you really should be paired uh, to land. Yeah, I was looking out at the wings. And I'm like, where are the flaps? I thought they were all the way inboard near the fuselage. Uh, where the FPLV But I mean, I could literally feel us decelerating. Oh yeah. As we're going pitch down. And I, I probably put the flaps down a little too soon. Could have waited a little bit. It was still a nice landing. Great. For the gusty winds. And we're S turning again to see where we're going. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. That was fun. Yeah. We're going to park outside. Turn the airplane around here. Stick goes forward again. We'll unlock that tailwheel. Great. Nice job. Ooh. Semi-ground uh, Skyline 229 to Romeo. We're on the uh, signature ramp. Ready to start. Quite as much. We feel this horse head right there. Excellent. And we keep coming in as we accelerate. We start to pull again. And we just want to feel those seat pressures. Beautiful, Peter. Okay, we're heading back in. See you and on. pause right there. Excellent. We'll see you guys. So we don't want to bring the nose too high. That's okay. But after the maneuver, we just kind of, as we bleed off the airspeed, we just kind of let it fall. We don't ever want to run out of airspeed, particularly with our nose pointed at the sky. Yeah. That's great. You feeling good? Feeling good. All right, let's start westerly again here. We're going to line up on a westerly heading to a barrel roll. We got the speed. I'm going to do it. Follow along. Look left. Look left. 